For these young pilots, this is today's homework. When test time comes, the fun really begins. That's been my lifelong dream ever since I was four years old. They chose University of Dubuque's aviation program for a reason. When students come here and look at this airport and uh, what we have to offer, having a control tower is vital. All right, right on Delta Cross 3-1. But federal spending cuts due to the sequester will change how students learn to fly. With these cuts, students will still be able to log flight time, but they'll have to do it without a key component, an air traffic control tower. I know I make small mistakes here and there, and they stay small because of our control towers. We're really peeling away a layer of safety, and we're peeling away the best layer of safety. Akinelli says the skies will still be safe for students, but part of their training requires a control tower. Without this one, students will have to do that training somewhere else. Going to another airport, it's for me, it's unrealistic. I don't have that time. The aviation program accounts for one eighth of the university's entire student body. Without a tower, administrators are concerned future students will go elsewhere. We are a national draw and a huge regional draw. But they're confident they'll be able to keep this program strong, despite the loss of this tower and a key selling point to prospective students. I firmly believe that we have a great enough staff to get through this. In Dubuque, David Scanlon, Fox 28 News.